A tangent and a radius of a circle meet at 90 degrees. In this video we will look at what this means and why it is true, including a proof of the rule. A tangent is a line that just touches the edge of the circle without crossing it. If the tangent touches the circle at point P, we can draw a radius that meets the tangent at the same point. The radius makes an angle of 90 degrees with the tangent. This is always true. If we draw a different tangent, it will be a different radius that meets it, but the two lines will still make a 90 degree angle. It is quite easy to see why this might be true. Let's draw a circle with a radius that points vertically downwards. This diagram is symmetrical. The right side is a mirror image of the left side. Now let's draw a tangent. We will assume that the angle to the left of the radius is angle A, and to the right of the radius is angle B. Since the original diagram is symmetrical, there is no reason to think that angle A would be bigger or smaller than angle B. Two angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. If both angles were equal, they would be 90 degrees each. This doesn't prove that the angles are 90 degrees, but it gives us a reason to think that they probably are. We will now prove that the tangent and radius meet at 90 degrees. We will use a method called proof by contradiction. In this method, we start by assuming that the statement is not true. We then show that this would lead to a contradiction. This proves that the statement can't be not true, so the statement must be true. Here is a circle with centre O. The line AB is a tangent that touches the circumference at point P. We will prove that the radius OP meets the tangent AB at 90 degrees. This is the angle APO. Let's start by assuming that APO is not 90 degrees. This means that there must be some other point C where the line OC is at a right angle to AB. So the angle ACO is 90 degrees. Notice that the line OC crosses the circumference. We will call the point of intersection point D. Now let's look at the triangle ACP. This is a right angle triangle. The right angle is at C, and the hypotenuse is OP. But the triangle is not drawn to scale. The line OP is a radius of the circle, and the line OD is also a radius of the circle. Let's see what the triangle looks like when these two lines are equal lengths. The line OC is obviously longer than OD, which means that it is also longer than OP. That is an impossible triangle, because the side of the right angle cannot be longer than the hypotenuse. This means that angle C cannot be a right angle. The assumption that APO is not a right angle means that ACO must be a right angle for some point C. We have proved that ACO can't be a right angle. Therefore, the assumption that APO is not a right angle must be incorrect. So APO must be a right angle. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can find more resources at graphicmaths.com. The link is in the description below.